There's lots of different ways of comparing funds in analytics, and today's session is going to be around the fund comparison report. But before we get into that, just to quickly summarise some of the other ways in which you might want to compare funds very quickly. Um, if I go and find some funds first on the left-hand side, so I'm going to type in the name of a popular range of funds, Life Strategy. I don't need to select the individual ones. I can just hit Add, and they'll all appear. What do I want to do with those funds? Well, on the right-hand side, I might want to start off with a performance graph. So I'll select five years and generate. And that would show me a nice chart looking at all of the funds against one another. I might want to look at risk, so I could think about running off a scatter chart. So back to the main screen over on the right hand side, change chart type to scatter. Again, select a time period and click on generate. And that allows me to show the performance versus volatility of those selection of funds against one another. And in this case, showing that as historically as the risk has increased, so is the performance. And what about perhaps a bar chart? So if we come back to the main screen. Again, on the right-hand side, chart, uh, bar chart, um, select fund, chart basis. I want this on a discrete basis, year on year. So period ends is going to be yearly. I want to run this off over five years and click on generate. And rather than always looking at cumulative performance, we can now look at discrete year on year windows, showing us how those five funds have behaved during good times and indeed bad. But coming back to the main screen, there is a slightly easier way of getting a nice report that compares these funds against one another, particularly if I wanted to look at all of the above. Yes, I want to look at performance and volatility. I might want to look at charges and asset allocation and ratings, etc. So on the right hand side, there's a nice feature under the report tab. It's under fund comparison report, that one there. Um, all I've got to do is select a handful of funds on the left hand side. I don't really need to play around with the options on the right and just hit generate to produce it. And the resulting report is a bit like a beauty parade. It puts all of those funds side by side. And as I said, it looks at all of the different things you might want to look at if you're recommending one of these funds against another. Now, just coming back to the main screen, another use of that is if I'm trying to recommend maybe one fund over another, rather than having to look at lots of different funds, I've maybe run some analysis on my portfolio. I've decided that my client's current American holding their Aberdeen Standard American Equity Fund maybe perhaps hasn't been behaving as I'd expect it should do and therefore I'm looking to swap it out with the Bell Gifford American Fund and again we can use scatter charts, performance graphs and bar charts to compare the fund side by side but equally over on the right hand side again we can utilise a fund comparison report and again illustrate to the client all of the reasons why we're recommending one fund over another. You can modify fund comparison reports as with most reports in analytics there's always a little settings tab at the very top, Hammer and Spanner, just click on it and it will provide you with a little box that will illustrate all of the current tabs you've got enabled. And indeed, if you don't want to show anything to do with performance, take it out. Don't want to show anything to do with sector split, regional split, asset split, again, take them out by deselecting. And I can either click on apply, which will apply those settings to this specific report, or if I click on save, that creates a new default for me. So every single re comparison report I ever produce going forward, it'll always apply the same logic. Fund comparison reports are pretty simple, so hope you found that useful. If you do need any help though with any feature on analytics, you can feel free to use the live chat facility with our help desk in the bottom right. Uh, equally on the left hand side, you've got contact us, which will give you details for their phone number and email address. And you've got, again, training and guides. So guides for every feature on the right hand side and the ability to book yourself in with the training team.